Today, Nancy Pelosi is finally allowing a vote on an enhanced security bill for the Supreme Court justices. It's been almost a full week since that man from California was arrested for trying to kill Justice Brett Kavanaugh. Not only is it too late, it's too little, according to Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. He says the House version of the bill will not pass in the U.S. Senate. Let's talk about this now with Montana Congressman Matt Rosendale. He joins us now live. Congressman, great to have you with us. Thank you, John. Thanks for having me on today. All right. So what is the minority leader talking about? Uh, you know, I understand the Senate already passed a bill. So what is the House doing to the security bill that Republicans don't like? So uh, Nancy Pelosi was having conversations about adding, broadening the same that she does with every single piece of legislation that arrives in the House to put some poison pills in it to keep us from being able to pass it. Now, fortunately, it looks like this time that she has not done that. We're going to be able to bring this piece of legislation up and get it passed so we can provide this very necessary, much needed additional security for our Supreme Court justices. We saw that very, very, uh, barely escaped uh, calamity, if you will, uh, with Judge Kavanaugh the other day. And we want to make sure that we don't have to face anything like this in the future. Uh, you know, it's been a while now, too, since this happened with uh, Brett Kavanaugh. We still see these protests outside of the justices' houses. And this is against federal statute. Jim Jordan, I, I don't know the statute like he does, but he rattled it off from the podium not too long ago. Um, and I, Corrine Jean-Pierre at the White House was asked about this. This is what she had to say. We have not weighed in on where people should or should not protest. Uh, we have said that all Americans have the right uh, to peacefully protest, uh, whatever their point of view. Uh, but that, uh, but that attempts at intimidation and violence are totally unacceptable, and that they need to be condemned at any time they happen, regardless of who does it. All right, two questions here. Why won't the White House? condemn this in a way that everybody can understand, and why won't Merrick Garland uh, actually enforce the law? That, that is exactly right. It is a federal crime, and I can't state the statute either, but to intimidate or try to uh, change the decision of a justice, and these people are on front of the properties of these justices trying to do just that. Where is the Department of Justice? Where are the uh, federal uh, agents. Uh, we've seen previously that they have no problem going out into the public and arresting people and putting them in shackles and hauling them away if they happen to be participating in a different type of protest that wasn't even on someone's private property, that was on public property. And now we continue to see these activities that are for one purpose, and that is to get these justices to change their opinion on a particular court case, and that is a federal crime. Where is law enforcement? That's, that is a great question. One other congressional thing I wanted to ask you about, there was a lot of reporting on Monday about a bipartisan deal being reached on this uh, gun control bill. Where does that stand right now, and is there any real motivation among Republicans to sign on to that? I think that you're going to try uh, that you will find some Republicans that try to find a way to support the legislation because a lot of them are intimidated. They, this is such an emotionally charged issue. They they feel um, very intimidated right now. But the fact of the matter is, we must separate school security, mental health issues from the right of the individual to own and bear arms. They are they are separate subjects, and we can. Uh, walk and chew gum at the same time. Let's address school security, because that is a big problem that continues to arise that allows this violence to take place. Let's address mental health issues. That is a really big problem that we also see every single time that these issues arise. And, and let's address that. We do not have to violate the, uh, the rights of law-abiding citizens in order to address those two major issues. You would hope not. You would hope that those rights would be Sacrosanct. Congressman Matt Rosendale from Montana, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me on, John. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.